It's important to properly dispose of unwanted medication or sharps. MedProject offers free and convenient disposal options near you. To learn more, call 844-MEDPROJECT or visit medproject.org. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Jumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. <laughs> The Chumba Life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over a 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Pretty Lies and Alibis. I'm Gigi Fruit Loop. What you know? Did you know that a London tomb is supposedly a time machine or teleportation chamber? Uh Yeah, so there's a cemetery called Brompton Cemetery. And it's the final resting place for a lady named Hannah Courtoy. Courtoy. Um, So she had some beliefs about some Egyptians. I did this one because it reminds me of Lori and Chad. Uh, but she's buried there with her two daughters in a massive 20 foot granite mausoleum. And it includes a pyramid peak and a bronze door decorated with Egyptian hieroglyphs, but they lost the key. So nobody can unlock it. Uh, so there's like this, uh, superstitious thing that it's a, Time machine, and then another guy's like, no, it's a teleportation chamber. Well, Lori needs that right now to get back to Fremont County, because she's competent, y'all. Exactly. (laughs) I'm not going to say we called it, but we called it. Yeah. Yep. She's back. Big, big, big. She's back. She's back. Super good news. Before we get started with the good news of today, we want to give a shout out to one of our sponsors, Two Cool T-Shirt Quilts. You can go to twocooltshirtquilts.com slash pretty lies and alibis. Check them out. They'll know we sent you. And they can take your T-shirt to make them into a quilt that is too cool. I've got to give a quick shout out to a company called Sprayground, which is where this sweatshirt came from. One of our listeners, Cece, sent this to me because I'm like Star Wars, like everything. Uh, this sweatshirt is the softest, most amazing sweatshirt I've ever had in my life. Yeah, I, you were saying that. I, I'm going to get me a sweatshirt. It's crazy how comfortable. Yeah, it's crazy how comfortable. So go check them out. It's like www.sprayground.com. Crazy, cool. crazy, crazy Good day stuff. for news. Yeah, we'll have to check them out. Yeah. Um, so my kids have prom this weekend. That's how old we are, Fruit Loop. That's scary. Both my kids have prom coming up. All right. So let's just get to it. She's competent. She's coming back. Yeah. She's going to pay for what she did. Yes, she is. And, uh, so as we know, the stay in her case was issued on May 27th of last year. And she was sent to the mental health hospital in June. The 180-day extension ended on uh, March the 7th. So we've been seeing a lot of different filings, a little bit of activity online in the portal, the court portal. And, um, you know, just thought, okay, kind of reading the tea leaves, maybe she's competent. So why don't you read what Judge Boyce's decision was? So this was the order uh, based upon the court's determination that defendant Lori Noreen Vallo, a.k.a. Lori Noreen, Noreen Vallo Daybell, is restored to competency and is fit to proceed. The court orders that the defendant be brought before this court to be arraigned. Further, the order staying the case is hereby lifted. Defendant is to be transferred from the Idaho Department of Health and Welfare and remanded to the custody of the Fremont County Sheriff to be transported and brought before this court. The arraignment shall take place on April 19th at 1 p.m. at the Fremont County Courthouse. Oh, boy. Yeah, so it's crazy because next Tuesday. Yeah, I'm going to be my surgery, and she's having her trial or her hearing. Is that your surgery day? Yeah. Oh, no. 
oh man, I'll be flying solo on a big day. Um, East Idaho News has a request into live stream and they were given access to Chad. So I'm sure it won't be any different. Yeah. Yeah. She's required to attend. Yep. So we'll get to see her. It's been a while. It's been a hot minute. Um, and also that same day, Chad has his hearing for the uh, motion to reconsider transfer of the jury or venue from Ada County. So, yeah, we haven't seen her since uh, she sat for the arraignment, which never happened. It's been a minute. Yeah. So I'm curious to see, you know, how has this past, uh, what, nine months been to her? Yep. Um, prosecutors, now, here's the thing. They have 60 days from the date of this arraignment to put out whether or not they intend to seek the death penalty. What do you think, Fruit Loop? They going for it? I think he will. Just my just my opinion. Yeah. I think he I will. Think so too. But I don't see why, you know, they would put it up for him and not her. So yeah. uh, Kay and Larry have given some interviews today with Justin Lum and East Idaho News. And what did Kay say about the arraignment? So she said they will attend. Uh, this is the first time they'll have seen her in person since they found the kids' bodies. And we yeah, know which, that's crazy. Kay done, yeah, Kay stared her down that day. Yeah, she did. She gave it a laser eyes. But it's crazy yeah. to think, you know, the only other time they've been in that courtroom was when she was brought back from Hawaii. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I just couldn't believe that. But, you know, you think about it. Yeah. They only saw her that one time. Kay told Justin Lum, it's very important uh, to us to make sure for her to know we are following this through and we will never stop. Yeah. What did Larry say about it? So Larry told Justin this time, I think at some point she's got to have to look us in the eyes and I cannot wait because we're not giving up on this. Uh, he said she's played the system her whole life. Now, just want to give a, a very, very happy early birthday. Tomorrow's Larry's birthday. Yep. Happy, so birthday, happy birthday, Larry. Larry. Eat um, some cake. Yes, eat some cake. This um, is a good gift for Larry for his yeah, birthday. Yeah, it's a good early gift. And it's kind of sad when that is something that you celebrate because, you know, they've, they've lost so, so much. And yeah. I was looking at some pictures of, of Kay and Larry with J.J., and it just drives home the whole point of the weight of all this to me. Um, yeah. So well, I kind of, what do you think about transporting her? I think they'll do it in the dead of night. Yeah. I mean, it just, obviously they're going to try to do it where there's not a lot of people around. Yeah. It's a big case. Uh, yeah. So I, I'm just glad, like for me, this whole competency thing was screaming all about her and it's not where it should be. Uh, no. So we get to bring focus back to JJ, Tylee, Charles, uh, Tammy. Like we get to bring, you know, the right thing back to them so uh, they can pay for what they did. For sure. And, it, you know, I think the one thing that drives all of us who follow true crime crazy is seeing the defendant get more rights than their victims had. Yeah. And that's just what the Constitution guarantees, but it's still really yeah. hard to swallow. Yeah. For me. Exactly. I mean so, And I get the I get the Sixth Amendment. Yeah. You know, that you have a right to trial and all that. I get all that. Mm -hmm. But for me it just screamed it's all about me. Um yeah, she's things. good at that for sure. Um yeah. so I was wondering about the arraignment for Charles's murder now that she's competent, but a few of our listeners have said that that what they remember hearing is that they'll let this wrap up in Idaho first. Yeah. And then that maybe would a rainer. That was initially what I think everybody was saying. Mm. That's how it, that's how it works. But yeah. So if they seek the death penalty, we know that Archibald is death penalty certified. Mark Means is off the case. He can't come back. I've seen people ask today, can she hire him back? No, he cannot come back. But I think they'll definitely add on some more counsel to assist Archibald once that death penalty is put on the table for her. Yeah. So, uh, JJ's biological father had something to say to Justin, right? Yep. He said that he's extremely happy. The case is moving forward. He says a huge weight has been lifted and words can't explain how I feel. It's the beginning of their end. 
talking about Lori and Chad. And he says he will be at the trial next January, which I think is appropriate. Yeah, good for him. Um, and <laughs> Larry cracks me up. You know, yeah, Larry doesn't it. mince words. He just speaks it like it is. He said he wants to sit up close to see who stabs who in the back first, Lori or Chad. <laughs> yep, somebody getting thrown under the bus. But, you know, if you think about it, look how far behind her case is right now. Now, they're not severed. Judge Boyce just recently said these cases. It's important to properly dispose of unwanted medication or sharps. MedProject offers free and convenient disposal options near you. To learn more, call 844-MED-PROJECT or visit medproject.org. Lucky Land Casino, asking people, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car, before my kid's PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Cases are not going to be separated. Look at all the hearings that Chad has had. Yep. In these nine months since she's been incompetent, well, almost 10 months, you know, you have to wonder, are these, are there going to be things that Archibald files that Pryor has already filed? I think we're going to have a lot of uh, content here in the next few months as they start to get established with each other. Yeah, exactly. Figure out where they're going to go, that kind of thing. But so, you know what I was thinking though? The move from this mental hospital back to jail is going to be a rude awakening for Lori because we have the patient handbook from this hospital she's been at. Yeah. And they don't, it's not a jail. It's a hospital and it, you're treated like you're in a hospital pretty much. So let's talk about some of the things that she had available to her at this institution that probably won't have at the, at the pokey. I'm just saying. Yeah. So there's a comfortable room which is available for your use that provides a secure and quiet atmosphere with an assortment of sensory opportunities to help when you're feeling stressed or overwhelmed. And these, upon request for individual use, are calming nature movies, an assortment of diverse musical genre on MP3, and a soothing lavender dispenser. Uh, a cozy weighted blanket and comforting stuffed animals. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no. I mean, I understand that for a, you know, a hospital where you're treating people that, you know, clearly Didn't murders. But, but, but yeah, I mean, people. she not getting no lavender diffuser in her cell. So there are different levels of privileges at this hospital. And for someone expected to return to jail, she would only be able to get what they call B plus privileges. This privilege level is reserved for patients. Um, that's the highest they can achieve at their state. Even if they're perfect little angels, they must attend 90% of their assigned groups. They may use the courtyard without staff escort, but will require staff escort within the hospital. Outside walks are not allowed. The other thing a lot of people have been wondering about today is because most of us are women and we're petty. How's she going to look? Well, we know that unless COVID put a big wrench in it, they have a beautician that comes in and provides services at cost to the patient. So if her mom has been sending her money into her account, it's possible she had her hair done while she was there. Yep. What else do they have, Fruit Loop? Each unit has access to a tablet, which can be used for web-based visits with family and supports. Um, support. Uh, social media cannot be accessed. Uh, approved MP3 players may be available on loan from staff. Uh, you will have access to patient phones to make local and long-distance calls at no charge. So let's look at some of the activities she has had access to for the last nine months. Board games playing cards, letter writing, listening to music, journaling, books and magazines, computer games, coloring, watching TV. Take it, Fruit Loop. Socializing with peers, listening to relaxation tapes, frisbee in the courtyard, drawing, exercising and stretching, working with clay, riding exercise bikes, educational videos, entertainment videos, talking on the phone, requesting time to go to the gym, 
decorating for the holidays, video games, individual crafts, hacky sack in the courtyard. Girl, well, you know, we used to tear up a hacky sack. Dude, I'm going to tell you, I wish they would have had uh, some football <laughs> and somebody could have. Marshall Oh, yeah. Oh, my nose. Yeah. Uh, individual crafts, materials for collages, paint by number, uh, crocheting, ping pong, bingo, latch hook, needlework, exercise videos. Yeah, so it's going to be a bit of a shock to the system to go back to a cell. These places don't have, they don't have bars. And she had a private room here. Now, she may have one in the jail just because of the how big of a case this is. But um, it's going to be a rude awakening for her. And that makes all of us happy because we don't like to think that she's, you know, faring well at the mental hospital. Yeah. But here's now, the deal. If she... And I don't think she was incompetent the whole time, but if let's just say she was now that she's medicated and she's going back, is this going to be a bigger reality? Oh, wait, it could be like, I understand what I'm, what's happening now. Right. And this is a big deal. So. Well, and you have to think nine months without have passed without her being able to talk to Chad. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of things that go into this. And if she's been out of reality for these nine months because she knew she had the 180 day extension, when those cell bars close, we're back to reality. We're going to be seeing her a week from tomorrow. She cannot hide. Yeah. She may be able to wear a mask. I don't know. But she has to sit in that courtroom with Kay and Larry and possibly Colby. I don't know who all is going to be there family wise. We know Kay and Larry are. Um, Okay, give her the stank eye. Give it, yes, please. I Do still it. have to get that frame for back here. Yeah, that really. look that Kay was giving her. But, you know, I mean, this is just a great thing. And um, there have been times where I thought maybe, maybe she wasn't competent. But it was just so nice today. It came at once. I was doing the Anthony Tote trial. We just put out an episode on day one of testimony. And it came across. And I was like, oh, my gosh. So I had graphics yeah. made for competent and not competent and was able to shoot that up. And yeah, so social media has been popping today. It has been yeah. one alert after the other. Our listeners yeah. are very, very happy. And I know the family's happy and let's get this show on the road. And then, you know what, nine months from now we have trial. Yeah. Now, can yeah. she go back to being incompetent? We've been told you can drift in and out of competency, but um, malingering isn't always super easy to do. Yeah. And from what I've heard, um, these doctors know, essentially, if you're malingering. And I think that's probably maybe why we're back going to jail. You know, yeah. if she was malingering, it, it just took nine months to figure it out. But yeah, um, so this is all good news. This is just what we needed. We're going to keep up with everything. Uh, make sure there's no filings. I'm keeping an eye on that portal like every hour. Keep an eye on VineLink. As soon as we hear that she's been transported, we'll let you know. Yeah. Um, hopefully Nate and them can get a shot of her going in. That would be cool. Oh yeah. Get on it, Nate. But yeah. yeah so well, I, Janice, Janice is good with the, uh, with the video phone stuff. So yes, yeah, she is. Good. So, um, yeah. anyways, big, big day in this case, we're super happy about it. And, um, so we're going to keep an eye on everything and, and anything new we'll put on social media and talk about it tomorrow. Yeah, sorry I've been missing, but uh, guys, this pain ain't no joke. It feels like I have a knife and a match to my Achilles and my foot. So, yeah, it's I tell you, you get to a point, and I know you know you walked with me with knee pain. You get to the point to where you're looking forward to surgery. Yeah, I'm ready because to get it can't it. be I'm any ready. worse than what you're feeling. Yeah. It's yeah. insane. Um, so yeah. anyways, that's kind of all we had. I mean, it's just a big happy justice day for us. And uh, I know our, our listeners are are super happy tonight. So we will yep. be at you tomorrow. Uh, any updates, we'll bring them to you. Hope you guys have a good night. It's important to properly dispose of unwanted medication or sharps. Med Project offers free and convenient disposal options near you. To learn more, call 844-MED-PROJECT or visit medproject.org.
With lucky landslots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to... Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. No, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details.